Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and as you can tell we are back in my kitchen and I'm here doing another cooking video. My last cooking video, the ramen, was very well received which was kind of surprising and a lot of you guys wanted to see more cooking videos. So I'm sharing with you guys how I make my chipotle inspired rice bowl. It's very simple, it's very easy. I'm going to pull my hair back, wash my hands and then we can get started. So I'm going to first start off with all of the ingredients. These are all items that are pretty basic. You probably are already have them in your pantry or your refrigerator. So first off, rice. I like white rice. You can do brown rice if you know how to cook brown rice. I don't know how to cook brown rice. So for time purposes, I'm going to be using a can of organic black beans. I honestly prefer beans cooked in the crock pot or on the stove, but those can take a few hours. So if you're in a hurry, canned beans will do. They're not as good, but they do work. Next onion i would suggest a whole medium sized onion because you're going to need a lot for this recipe so depending on if you really like garlic or if you don't you're going to need a different amount but i love garlic so i'll use about five or six cloves for everything any color of pepper of your choice i personally love yellow peppers i know sometimes they can be expensive but they were on sale this week i don't really like green peppers or red peppers all that much for the fajitas but if you don't like yellow and you can only find the other two, then you can go with that. So I'm actually not going to show you how to make the guacamole from Chipotle because I just feel like it's too time consuming. Instead, I'm just going to show you how I kind of mash up my avocado and what seasonings I put in it to make it taste almost as good. And last but not least for my bowl, I'm going to be adding in corn. Ideally, fresh corn would be ideal, but all I could find was frozen corn. Um, I'm actually not going to have any meat in my bowl, but if you want chicken or I don't know what other ingredients they have at Chipotle, honestly, you could make that on the side um, or any other vegetables that you think you could possibly want or something similar to other items at Chipotle. So we're going to first start off by cutting up our onion and garlic. So then we can start sauteing them. Half of my onion I'm going to cut into strips lengthwise. And then the other half I'm going to dice into cubes. You can also just chop up all of your garlic. For me, the more the merrier, but if you're not a huge fan of garlic, you don't even have to add it in. So our rice is going to take the longest time to cook, about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start by bringing two cups of water to a boil. And then also my secret ingredient for the rice is a chicken bouillon cube. And just break that apart into the water. And like I said, bring it to a boil. So I'm going to start on the fajitas and the beans. This will take about the same amount of time as the rice. So I like to get it going. I'm going to just use a little bit of olive oil in both pans. I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic and onion to both. So now that my water is boiling, I'm adding a cup of white rice. Then I'm going to bring this back to a boil for just a minute and then turn it down to low and cover it. So once the garlic and onions are browned, I'm going to add the can of beans. I drain most of the liquid out of here and then just let it simmer. So I'm going to just quickly cut up the pepper into thin strips. So hopefully you guys can see how kind of brown the onion and garlic is. And now I'm going to add all of my peppers. And I find that these cook down a lot. So I'm going to reduce the heat on the beans and the fajitas. Cover the fajitas and everything should be done when the rice is done. So everything is about to be done in about three to four minutes. So now it's time to heat up my corn. I don't have a microwave, so I have to heat up everything on the stove. And I just put it in a pan, let it warm. And if I have any like green salsa verde or herdez salsa or paste or something like that, I like to mix it in with the corn and it gives it a nice spicy flavor. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to quickly make my avocado. Oh, I hate when it's like brown. So this avocado is very ripe and I'm just going to kind of dice it in 
the peel. Now I'm just going to scoop it out. And you guys know I love garlic, so I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt for flavor. If you wanna add pepper or lime, you can do that too. But instead of making a whole batch of guacamole, this does the trick. So now we are going to assemble the bowl. Going to start off obviously with the rice like chipotle. Next, some of my black beans. Next, some of my fajitas or yellow peppers and onion. My corn. Next, I'm going to add some sour cream, but if you don't eat dairy or you know, like sour cream, that's a lot, that's a lot of sour cream. You don't have to add it. <laughs> Next, some of my mashed avocado guacamole-ish mix. And then my absolute fave, the Tabasco Chipotle. I know it looks dirty, guys, I'm sorry. And I add a lot of this because this stuff is really good. So once again, here is the completed Chipotle inspired rice bowl. All of the ingredients that I use makes about three to four bowls. So if you are looking to serve more people or to make leftovers, you're going to want to make more rice and more beans or just add a little bit more ingredients. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you do try this recipe out or have any other suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.